Okay, so this is Half-Life, the original Half-Life, not the Source version. Um, I never played Half-Life in my entire life. I'm gonna play it for the first time now to see how it is. Um, let's do this. Um, well, I guess I'm gonna try the training room. Okay. Let's start course. Oh, and the game is loud. Hello and welcome to the Black Mesa Hazard Course, where you will be trained in the use of the hazardous environment suit. I am your holographic mm. assistant. Let's begin by stepping into your suit. You can see it suspended up ahead of you. If you see one of these buttons, press it, and I will appear to demonstrate certain moves. Okay, um... Hello and welcome no, to please, the Black please, Mesa Hazard Course. No, please, please, don't, don't. Okay. Well, that's nice. Moving around in your HEV suit can be slightly disorienting at first. Take a moment to familiarize yourself with basic movement, and soon it will fit you like a second skin. I will see you just around the corner. Sure. So why is that button to walk slower instead of faster? That's really weird in my opinion. Hmm. The first move we will practice in the hazard course is basic jumping. You will attempt to get over this set of pipes using only your run and jump commands. It helps to get a running start. Watch me and then try it yourself. It just seems like a pretty basic tutorial to be honest. Please note that crouching will automatically shift your suit into stealth mode, minimizing movement noise. Crouch. That's great. Very good. I hardly noticed you. Move on to the next area. Okay. Now we will combine. Ooh. Jump, duck, and then jump again. Okay, okay, thanks for that. Good work. You look prepared for the next mission. Yep. To get into these pipes, you will have to signal your suit to make a duck jump. You'll want to stand right at the mouth of the pipe and continue to press forward. Then jump up, and while you're in midair, go into a crouch. It's tricky, but you'll find it comes in handy. Um. Okay. Ooh. Come on. There we go. No, please. Uh Come on. Yes, there we go. Nice job. <laughs> Walk directly into the ladder. Look up and continue moving forward. If you want to come back down, just move backward. Yeah. Thanks for telling me that. It was really hard. Um. The next three jumps get harder each time, but they are quite possible. Keep trying. Don't be surprised if it. you miss the last one a time or two. I can't you believe can it. Three in a continuous run. You are doing well. Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> How do I run? Like is is this running? Is this running or is this just walking? Ooh. Come on. If you keep falling short, you might be jumping too soon. I mean how how late should I jump, huh? Come on, please. Oh. Like, ooh. Okay. Great work. Now there 
There's one more style of jumping you need to learn. Long jumping requires its own charging module, seen here. To activate your long jump, you will have to duck and move forward, and then launch into a jump. Once you're up on the platform, press the button and I will demonstrate the move. So, knife forward. Nice job. Okay. Um. Please start the lift by moving up to the button, looking at it, and pressing the use key. on the floor below and do your best to hit it. If you take any damage Ooh. from the floor, we will administer medical care at the next station. Okay. Automatic medical systems engaged. You will find med kits like this one throughout the Black Mesa compound. To restore your health, walk up to a med kit and press your use key. Your health will recover gradually until you are at full health or the kit is depleted. Once the light goes out, a med kit cannot be reused. Okay, okay. To spin that bridge, walk up to the control wheel and press the use key. Ooh, come on. Fantastic. you'll need to rely on more than just your suit to get through a tight place. Try jumping this gap on your own. What you really need to do is push that box down into the pit. Pushing is easy. Just move forward against the box and you can push it into position. Hmm. Push the obstacle out of your way. You might try pulling it. To pull a box, move up to it and press your use key. While holding down the use key to keep a grip on the box, Ooh. move slowly backward. The box will come along with you. Mmm. Nice and crunchy, just how I like it. Uh, so use key and what, what? Use key and jump. Okay. Physics are a little bit funky, I have the feeling, in this game. Huh? Hmm. Finally, if nothing else works, you can try breaking the objects in your path. Make sure you've picked up the crowbar, then simply smash your way through the debris. Where's wooden boxes this big? training in firing a weapon, reloading, and firing a oh. uh, uh, pick up your weapon and advance to the <laughs> firing station. It was an accident by the way, okay? But now I know not to press 
the right mouse button. You'll have to hit every target in order to complete the course. But if you miss the first time, don't worry. It will come around again. Try to reload during pauses rather than waiting to run out of ammunition at a critical time. To fire your grenade launcher, use your alternate fire button. Certain targets will break only when hit by grenades. Commencing okay. sequence in five, four, three, two, one. What the fuck is this? It's just like crazy. Like, what if what game has a gun like this? Your ATV suit monitors blood oxygen levels, warning you when you need to find an air supply. Mm -hmm. As you swim through this course, your oxygen levels will begin to drop. At the midpoint, you will be given an opportunity to surface for air. Well, let's see. indicator on your suit's heads up display returning to its previous level you are free to swim on to the of course this is the charging unit for your hazardous environment suit when you are running low on power step up to any charger and press your use key your suit will recharge gradually until the charge unit is depleted. Individual batteries may also be used to charge your suit. Okay. There we go. If you pass through fire or steam, you will see a heat damage icon lighting up. Directional indicators at the center of your display show you where damage is coming from. Yeah, okay, okay. Hmm. Well. Okay. Proximity to radiation. Activate the Geiger counter and radiation display. Uh, Biohazards are also indicated with a luminous eye mark. Hazardous radiation levels detected. Please advance to the next area. Do they have just some radioactive stuff lying around there? That's uh, interesting. Yep. Hmm. Lead a security guard into the next room. He will let you back into the transit system. You must approach a guard and press your use key. He will follow you until you face him and press the use key again. Okay. Sure, I'll follow you. Hmm. What the fuck? <laughs> what? Uh, okay. I guess don't hit the the the, the vending machine with your grenade launcher. It's very unhealthy, I guess. Um, well, I 
Shut up. Come on. Zack. There we go. Free sword of everyone, I guess. Um, well, let's see if I can just proceed. If the game is fine with that. Oh, the game isn't fine with that. So, what should I do now? Uh, game. <laughs> yes, I just go down again. Maybe everything will be all right again. If I go up. Come on. Hmm. No. Zoom game, leave game, load game, save game, <laughs> load game. Lead a security oh, guard okay. into the next room. Sure, he will I'll let you, you back into the transit. Sure, I'll follow you. Mm -hmm. Is this a danger? Mm -hmm. But why? Press your use key to engage the train. Press your forward and backward keys to increase or decrease the speed of the train. Press your use key again to disengage from the train. Hmm. Maximum power. for use of the HEV Mark IV protective system. Well, that's great. So I'm ready now for the actual game, huh? Gonna play on medium. Because it's my first playthrough. Oop, but at first. Okay. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. So let's do this. Half life. Head back, man. What's going on down there? so weird that that the, the voice is like in only one ear when you look the other way don't really like that well that's unfortunate otherwise the roaches will crawl in here too huh
station platform. In the event of an emergency, passengers are to remain seated and await further instruction. If it is necessary to exit the train, the safety is running. How long is this ride exactly? Sounds good. Urinalysis or radiation checkup is grounds for immediate termination. If you feel you have been exposed to radioactive or other hazardous materials in the course of your duties, I have the feeling over there is already some radioactive material that's not very healthy for me, you know. Doesn't look very healthy to me, this whole situation. feeling too this this whole ride took like 50 minutes i have the feeling so how's it going huh you good yes walk very slowly please yes i love that in games Well, goodbye then. A Black Mesa Research Facility. Finally. After 50 years. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. 
They were having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Okay. Nice shiny helmet, by the way. I'm glad you're keeping it extra shiny just for me, no, Mr. Security Man. And who are you? Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now. Yeah, you don't look very busy to me. You'll just have to wait until after the test. Okay. I get it. Aren't you supposed to be in the test to get away from there, Freeman? I'm expecting an important message. I can't act activate it anymore. That's unfortunate. I can't be bothered right now. Mm. Please leave me alone until after the experiment. I can't be bothered right now. <sighs> no one likes me, I guess. <laughs> How about you? You'll just have to wait until after okay. the test. I really don't know. What? Weren't you supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago? Well greetings. Maybe I am, but What's it to you? Please leave me alone until after the experiment. No smoking area. My god, oh. what are you doing? Uh, yeah. I mean I enhanced your meal, dude. These ridiculous ties. <laughs> he has to re think really hard about this situation now. Hmm. And how about you? Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now. Mm, okay. Aren't you supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago? For me it works. Yeah, I have some free soda, my friend. Take it. I guess he isn't the sharpest tool in the shed. <laughs> this is all within limits. Um, <laughs> oh no. What are you doing, huh? I can't be bothered right now. Nah. Why do we all have Let's get this bread. Welcome to the HEV Mark 4 protective system. No, I wish I could open this door. Hello? What's that music? Uh, where's this music coming from? It's a little weird. I mean, it's not bad, but... It's good to see you. Now you want to talk to me, huh? Well, excuse me, Gordon. Oh. I'm rather busy. Of course not. And you? Sorry, I'm on duty, Mr. Freeman. Oh. No one wants to <laughs> wants to talk to me. Hmm. Well, Okay. 